Hey everyone and welcome to Saved by the Tao. My name is Chantel um, and you will find that I'm in the majority of these videos alongside random baby noises that you'll hear from my daughter Alicia. She is eight months old so we don't have much control in terms of what noises she makes on the videos. You might enjoy them, they are quite funny, quite cute. Um, a bois is a nice noise and raspberries tend to be one of my favourites. Um, so to give you a bit of background, we are first time parents to our little one who is eight months. Uh, before that I was working in digital marketing. I specialise a lot in affiliate marketing um, which is really useful. So affiliate marketing is a way that you can make money online um, and I will give you tips on how you can do that especially about getting cash back. Cash back is really really good and I'll tell you how much I've saved and how you do it. Um, so watch out for that video. Other things we'll vlog about are um, tips on babies so for any first time mums listening I remember when I was pregnant and I searched everything I was so worried about how I'd look after this little one um, but when you you know when they finally arrive you kind of fall into it to be honest um, but hopefully these videos will help save you a lot of the time researching from my experience and um, I tend to um, research everything down I will search everywhere for the best advice um, so you can trust that a lot of the products that I tend to buy I um, have really good reviews, other people have been using them already and I wouldn't be recommending them if I didn't think they were worth you investing with. Um, I'll also give you sort of an idea on what I bought that I have never ever used and there's a lot of that so I'll do, go through the lists of um, things that people recommend you buy and I'll tell you what we actually use out of those so hopefully that'll be really useful. Um, other things we'll cover off just for anyone else that's watching that aren't first time mums, we'll do everything from DIY so we have a lot of tools. Um, that are really useful um, for people to use around the house and save you time and um, time is really precious so you might as well invest in a few tools if you can and um, so we'll just give you a view of things that we've bought and um, so watch the space for those and just general blogs um, you'll see as the channel de um, develops what sort of things we're covering off so yeah um, so this is the first of our blogs in the baby product range um, and it covers off bibs so I hope you enjoy this video let me know in the comments what you think and any comments on things that you found really useful because I'm always willing to learn from other people so thanks so here we have all of the bibs that we bought um, as part of the weaning process for Alicia um, traditionally weaning can start from six months some people choose to wean earlier sometimes a bit later and um, we decided to wait till six months just because it's easier um, than preparing meals and you don't need to wean any earlier in most cases so we decided to go from six months we've gone down the traditional baby weaning route um, but even if you go traditional or baby led weaning what you'll find is that babies like to make a lot of mess um, so you'll definitely need to protect their cloves um, or otherwise they'll end up with lots of stains which you won't be able to get out potentially um, and you'll ruin the clothes so it's always good to buy bibs initially I bought just four bibs from Sainsbury's and um, then I found out that, that wasn't enough especially as I moved to weaning um, three times a day uh, so I invested in a few more so now I've got seven from Sainsbury's two Bibadoos and one from Poundland and I'll run you through where each of them came through. So starting with the Sainsbury's bibs we have the floral print, the, two, the unicorn and the rainbow came as a two pack, same with these two vegetable ones, this one says living life on the veg which is quite cute. My personal favourite is the bunny rabbit one um, and then you've also got the lemon print one down here. So I'll run you through with my favourite the bunny. Um, this one's particularly cute. It's got little ears and little bits of embroidery on the nose and on the eyes and whiskers. Um, the front is made of a sort of toweling material. Um, the back has a rusty material which is good in terms of if you get any spillages you can just wipe them straight off. And then you've got a little bit of Velcro on the back. With these bibs, they are one size, and because the Velcro is so small, you do sometimes find that baby can let the food go inside, but not a problem with most foods, to be honest. Then you've got elasticated sleeves here. Um, these are really elasticated, more so than the Bibadoo, actually, which makes it really easy for you to get them over baby's clothes. Um, overall, they're really good value for money. They come in at £3.50 each, and I will share links in 
um, the description of where you can get these from. You can either buy them directly from Sainsbury's or Argos. Um, so I'll share links for these particular bibs if they still do them. I know that Sainsbury's do a large range of these bibs. So they're often updating with different styles for you to investigate. So moving on to the Bibadoo, we have two different Bibadoos. We've got this star print one and watermelon. Again, they do some more designs, but these come in a bit more expensive. I think I paid two for 30. Um, so as you can see, they're a lot more money, um, but they are at the higher end. The material's a lot thicker. It's more of all of it's a bit more of a wipe clean type. Um, they are one size, but rather than with the Sainsbury's, it was just the, you remember it was just the Velcro at the top. These are a bit more detailed, so if I just open the Velcro up. So you've got the big patch here and a longer patch here, which means that you can adjust it, which is really, really useful. Um, again here, you've also got poppers, so you can pop it shut. So you've got a shorter sleeve when the baby's a little bit younger. Um, again, you've got the elasticated arm, which really helps put on. These are a bit harder to get on over baby's arms because there's not as much stretch in it as there was in the Sainsbury's one. Um, disadvantage in getting them dressed, but great in terms of stopping food getting in. So really good quality. The other thing that we do have at the bottom is you have a strap which you can undo and strap around the bottom of your baby's high chair. So this really stops food from getting anywhere. Whereas Sainsbury's it can have a tendency, if they've got things like water, it can drip down. Um, with the Bibadoo, it doesn't because it's all um, enclosed in. So really good quality. But as I said, if you're looking to have multiple bibs to stop doing a lot of washing, then it's not really an option to buy so many Bibadoos. Um, moving on to the last one. So here we have the Poundland one. This is a wipe clean material. Obviously we only pounded, paid a pound for this. If it was any more, I wouldn't buy it again, to be honest. It's a bit of a nightmare. There's no elasticated sleeves. Um, so what you find is A, the baby's hand really gets lost in this and B, like it just ends up in the food. Um, wipe clean isn't particularly good either because you um, often there's food stuck in it which you can't get out um, and it, it just doesn't wash as well to be honest. Again, a little bit of Velcro at the top. Overall, would I buy the Poundland one again? Probably not. Um, but at one pound I'm not gonna cry about losing a pound and it's good to have an extra just in case I'm being a bit lazy on the washing. So that's my review of all of these different bibs. As you can see there's quite a lot here so what I'll do is I'll put a link in the description. I'll also see if I can find a code for Bibadoo so you guys can take advantage of a Bibadoo discount as well. If you have any questions on bibs then please of course let me know. So there you have all the tips on bibs. I hope you found that really useful. Let us know what you think and anything else you'd like to have. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you again soon.